All right, today I'm gonna to teach you how to replace pickets on your fence. Now the gate behind me, it's in rough shape. Um, it's about mm, 18 years old and uh, it's made out of cedar and it's lasted a long time, but the pickets are really brittle, especially the gate because it's constantly opening and closing. So I'm gonna replace those. I'm gonna pull them all off and put new ones on and then I'm gonna stain it and hopefully that'll preserve the pickets. Skill saw. Pry bar, chalk line, hammer. These are two inch nails and they're galvanized. Make sure they're galvanized or they will rust. An extension cord, tape measure, and of course, pickets. Okay, so what we're doing is we're gonna replace the gate pickets. And if you look underneath here, you can see a couple of them are broken. Hi. This is one reason why we're fixing them because I'm afraid she'll get out. It's like a, it's like a loose tooth. So I'm gonna bang that out. See how it goes. Okay. So all you gotta do is just pick it up. There we go. Okay. So I don't care about these pickets. They're all old. I'm taking them off. I'm just gonna use a hammer and whack them off. Throw all the material right in the wheelbarrow, and uh, let's do it. One picket. Right, these some of these nails I could not get out so I just banged them back into the frame which is fine what are the chances of me banging in a new picket and hitting a nail pretty slim but could happen so I'm just gonna lay these all out okay I'm gonna snap a chalk line Nice and even all the way down. Actually, move it right to the edge here. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting the top of these pickets off and the bottom. Um, the bottom is at a weird angle, so I'm going to leave them long, and then the top is going to be kind of like. Um, have like a nice curve to it like the rest of the fence so the pickets don't need to be level at the top So I'm using these little two inch nails. See how they got little ridges in them? They catch really, really well. That's why I couldn't get those last nails out. I mean, they go in there, they're hard to pull out. So this is what I recommend. And they galvanized. And they got a nice flat head on it. So the pickets can't work their way out. Okay, you also don't want your pickets super tight to each other. So what's gonna happen is um, with the weather and rain, 
they expand and they shrink and your pickets are gonna get messed up. So you want a slight little gap and this nail is the perfect gap. So I just put one right here and one in the back. And they're in there very, very light. Have a nice little gap there so the wood can shrink and expand and it won't mess up the pickets. Okay, so I have two marks over here and two over here. Those are for the cross members that come across here. So I'm gonna snap a chalk line, then I'm gonna put a nail on each picket right on the chalk line. You know, I could have put the nails in while I was doing the pickets, but I think it's gonna look nicer with a snap chalk line and putting the nails right on it. Nice symmetry and good support of the entire fence. Dead center, right on the top. See how nice that's gonna look just because they're perfectly straight you know and it, it does catch people's eye and you can see we have nice separation just putting the nail between each picket lines them up perfectly so the bottom of the fence is not level because of my yard so that's a two and a half inch difference so I snapped the chalk line and then I'm gonna cut that and that's gonna kind of go right to the contour of the lawn
Okay, so that's the bottom. A beautiful gap. That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh my God, I'm so happy. And this is my first try. All right, so what I gotta do now is I gotta figure out the sweep of the fence. See how it kind of goes down? It's a nice gentle curve. That is what I'm gonna cut next. I'm gonna cut those pickets right off and hopefully it'll match up and then I'm gonna have to stain it so it kind of blends in a little and wash that chalk line off, but it fits like a glove. It's very exciting. And very little waste, that's it. You can kind of see the angle I cut. How they go from taller to shorter? Pretty, pretty good. So here's my dilemma. There's a nice natural curve that's cut here. I took a measurement. Um, it was eight inches from the top of the fence and then in the middle was three and a half. But I can only do a straight line and I want a nice natural curve. What could I use? And I'm thinking in my head, oh man, what do I use? So I'm gonna use a hose. could even use an extension cord, but I don't think the extension cord's gonna stay as nice and firm as a hose. So I'm just gonna put a gentle curve on this. You know what, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. It's, uh, it's gonna work. Now I'm gonna cut my line and uh, I got a nice gentle curve. Hello. I, I, I don't know how I do it. All right, as you can see, you only need some basic tools to put some new pickets on and a little, you know, ingenuity. Um, and improvise if you have to. I used the hose to cut this arc and it looks pretty good. Um, I have to put the handle in. I have to drill a hole, which is already there, but I just have to drill a hole for the picket and stain it and it's good to go. So please subscribe to me on YouTube. I got a lot of cool videos coming up. I'm trying to pump these out every day, trying to help out people who are homeowners and who just do their own work. It costs a lot of money to have someone come in and do anything for you. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. The more you know.